<laughs> you heard that music and thought it was going to be some sort of high energy compilation, didn't you? Wrong. You're going to listen to me talk about the different types of Phantom Forces players. Enjoy. Up first is the LARPer. They have a habit of taking weapon realism way too seriously and are often found criticizing the fact that you can put modern attachments on historical weapons. They never fail to let you know about their dislike for these attachments, and often go to game chat to express these frustrations. Sometimes they even take it so far as to play the game like Arma 3 and only do things by the military field manual. Overall, they're pretty boring and don't really seem to understand function over form. Cause I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Tomorrow I may buy myself a dining room set or this Boba Fett. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. Credit card debt. Sorry about that. At number three, we have the sweat. They're probably seen in their natural habitat, bouncing around like a kangaroo on meth and sporting a fashionable meta weapon. The best thing to do when coming across these players is to either hold G for 5 seconds or just straight up leave. It's not your day, pal. Sometimes they're cool and don't try to ruin your day, but a lot of the time it's just them stroking their egos by getting as many kills as possible. Number 4 is the new player. They're usually using something below level 10 like the AK-12 or Intervention and only seem to know how to sprint. They usually equip anything they have unlocked and don't really care about how their gun looks. Most of the time they don't do very well, but occasionally they'll surprise you and they'll get top 5. Be nice to these players. They're the future of the game. Number 5 is the Metamancer. These are the least creative people you will meet in the entire game. They're pretty much the TikTok trend equivalent of players and don't have the ability to think freely. They will always be running the most recent popular weapon that is either broken from an update or they were told to use it by a content creator. Regardless, they will always have the exact same loadouts as everyone else using the gun and think they're good at the game because of it. Number 6 is the Thrifter. These people are the physical embodiment of curiosity. Or greed, I don't really know. They're never satisfied with what they have, and you will frequently see them picking up every single weapon they find on the ground. It doesn't even matter if they know what they're picking up. They'll grab it, take a few shots, and probably die because they don't know how to use it. Ultimately, this kind of player is mostly harmless, but some people get angry for some reason when this player gets a kill of the weapon they picked up. Seriously, who cares? At number 7, we have the new player with a Rex that never seems to miss. This one boggles even the greatest of scientists, as no one really knows how it's possible. Doesn't matter if you have the high ground, background, foreground, or player unknown's battlegrounds, this player will eventually see you and definitely kill you. I'm pretty sure the Avengers would have been better off sending this player to fight Thanos than the entirety of Wakanda. Despite not being able to sprint, they are always formidable foes. Slow and steady wins the race. Number 8 is the PPSH user. There is always one of them. They just appear out of nowhere with an endless stream of bullets and tear your entire family lineage to shreds. They're like an embarrassing memory that won't go away. Up to bat at number 9 is the Spy. These players can be found running around the map at Mock Hockey Puck with their favorite knife. They usually lurk in corners or around edges and only come out at opportune moments like gunfights where people are distracted. They don't usually do too well, but sometimes they get lucky and get a quad feed and really rile some people up. Overall, they're pretty fun, and every once in a while it's interesting to see what happens. At number 10 we have the Quickscoper. This type of player is usually allergic to optics as it decreases their ADS speed too much. They're usually running around with a sniper that is their perfect combination of speed and firepower. Usually containing the reflexes of a Formula 1 driver, you should avoid bottlenecks and choke points at all costs when this player is in the game. Trust me, you thought old Black Ops was bad, wait till you got someone with a Mosin. Coming in at number 11 is the Shotgun Addict. It literally does not matter what map or mode this guy is stuck in, he will be using a shotgun. This player takes the old saying, if you like it so much, why don't you marry it, to a whole new level. This guy has a chemical bond to his shotgun, and he cannot be separated from it. He will rip and tear until it's done, and it won't be him getting torn. You can pretty much expect this player to be top 3 at all times, unless they somehow get countered by snipers. Speaking of that, at number 12 we have the sniper. This player definitely aspires to be like Mark Wahlberg in Shooter, you know, just minus helping the government. This player's legs have definitely atrophied from sitting still in one place for so long and waiting for kills. Like an anglerfish, they sit in perches or in windows, hard scoping and waiting for someone across their field of view. Snipers come on a wide variety of skill levels, so your experience will vary depending on make and model, but for the most part, they're just a general nuisance. At number 13, we have the Impactor. This type of person refuses to use guns and only likes to use spicy potatoes. Usually opting for higher damage grenades, this player either uses strictly impact grenades or always has a cooked grenade waiting for you. Either way, you're going to find out whether or not you believe in the right religion very soon. 
Their performance is usually based on the grenade used. If you're playing against people using actual impacts, prepare to be annoyed. And probably die. Player number 14 is the M107 spammer. This player 100% has M107 best sniper in their Discord profile or something. The issue is, they seem to forget it's not a machine gun, and the only people they end up suppressing are their teammates. These players have a 13-0 KD against eardrums, and they don't plan on stopping anytime soon. If you're on the opposing team for one of these players, you're about to get a Japanese earthquake simulator real quick if they start hitting anywhere near you. So good luck. At number 15, we have the Tag Fairy. This person either has a physical attraction to tags, or their family is being held hostage until they have enough of them. They speed around the map, grabbing every glowy hologram they can find, and leaving you with a measly 25 XP to say thank you. As an enemy player, they're actually quite pleasant, and if you don't care about the XP, they're a fine teammate as well. However, if you want to level while they're in the game, you've got more than the enemy team standing in your way. So good luck, man. Number 16 is the Zone Hog. This type of player is actually a really great teammate to have, and quite frequently leads to victories. If they stay King of the Hill or Hardpoint, their neurons activate and they will return to Monkey. Sacrificing their KD and not worrying about gun levels, they will throw their body on the site as many times as possible to capture it and keep it. This player usually ends up in the top 3 on XP alone, and tends to get frustrated when other people don't share their fanatic desire to hold the line. That sounds a little familiar. Number 17 is the Smurf. There's always one of these in the lobby, whether it's because their main got banned, their speed running to level 100, or they're just tripping on their ego. You can always rely on smurfs to make you feel bad about yourself. Usually sporting a well-performing low-level gun and very obviously knowing more than their level puts on, this player tends to draw a lot of vote kicks from low levels thinking they're cheating, and from people who just want to have fun. Experiences vary wildly, but most of the time they're just a little disruptive. Number 18 is the guy with a random gun that just seems to work. We've all seen this guy in a lobby, usually using a gun you have literally never seen anyone else use, yet he gets top 3. We don't know if it's some kraut space magic skill or a cosmic rift that gives his one specific gun power, but whatever it is, this player sticks with you. They're usually pretty chill too, so that's a plus. Number 19 is the Frankenstein. This kind of player could not care less about what people think of them. They will build the ugliest, most nonsensical, completely unusable guns in existence just to be satisfied by knowing you hate your life every time you die to it. It doesn't matter if they have to use duct tape and lipstick to make their gun wacky, they will do it. And then they'll kill you with it. Again, and again, so it's burned into your brain. Overall, this kind of player is fun to have and always leads to funny interactions. In at number 20, we have the Trick Shotter. This is one of the cooler players you'll meet. They're usually only here to have fun, launching themselves off buildings or high places in hopes of hitting a clip. A majority of the time, they are super chill and only really get negativity from self-conscious people who actually got hit. 10 out of 10, would recommend to a friend. Finally, at number 21, we have the Content Creator. Look at this stupid idiot, sitting there thinking he's important. Who even listens to you, dude? No one cares. You are not special.